Croft makes carbon capturing building panels insulated with super compressed straw. And one of the most common questions we get about this material is, won't that burn? Short answer, no, but we understand the skepticism. To settle this debate, we called in a favor to our local fire chief and set a bunch of stuff on fire. We set out to compare three different wall assemblies by exposing each of them to 10 minutes of intense direct flame. We torched a croft panel, a typical code minimum wall panel with fiberglass insulation and zip bar sheathing, and an OSB sheathed wall panel with closed cell spray foam. In short, we're doing a head-to-head -head comparison, plant-based materials versus synthetic manufactured ones. First test, a croft straw panel. Our panels are filled with local, organic, no-till straw because we are overachievers, but any straw will do. Straw is an inexpensive, plentiful agricultural byproduct that just happens to naturally bioaccumulate silica, which is the same stuff all other insulations add to achieve their fire resistance. Compressed in our proprietary equipment, the result is a panel so densely packed that flame just can't find a foothold. Instead, the straw simply forms its own protective layer of char within a few seconds. And further burning doesn't change much. For the record, the test we're doing here is about five times as harsh as the standardized test for insulation materials. After 10 minutes of this 1200 degree flame applied directly to the face of the wall, we not only hadn't got the panel to catch on fire, but the straw on the other side had only warmed by six degrees. When we cut the torch, our panel self-extinguishes within seconds. The only demonstrable change from all our efforts being a blackened dent in the surface of the straw, about two inches deep. In short, trying to burn our panel was kind of boring, which is probably the highest praise you can offer during a test like this. Next up, the Code Minimum panel, also known as the 20 plus 5 wall because it has approximately R20 insulation in the stud bays and a continuous R5 insulation at the sheathing plane. For the moment, let's table the building science that indicates that this wall can be risky in terms of long-term moisture durability, and let's see how it performs in the face of fire. While the paper facing on the fiberglass burns up quickly, the fiberglass bat just sort of melts away and doesn't really contribute to flame spread. The polyiso foam, however, began self-igniting around 800 degrees, creating enough blowback heat to melt the brass tip off of our torch, a stark reminder of the high-profile failures polyiso foam has been involved with in the past. At the 10-minute mark, the fire had effectively burned through, a thin layer of sheathing remaining intact but reaching 200 degrees compared to our straw panel's nearly unbelievable 6-degree change. The takeaway? Foam is gross and not as durable as lawn clippings. In order to continue our test, we had to break out the backup torch. Since this was marketed as a more powerful torch, we dialed back the flame with the help of the firefighter's infrared camera until we got an identical reading, in an effort to level the playing field for the spray foam. This, it turns out, was a lost cause. After only 45 seconds, the firefighters in attendance told us to cut the torch over concerns that they had witnessed the spray foam entering what they called runaway a scenario where the foam had started burning hotter than the torch itself, which turns out to be an all too common occurrence with modern construction. This is when the fire chief piled on with some juicy observations that we won't share here, lest we be sued into oblivion by the manufacturers. Wow, I cannot believe that spray foam. That was I, intense. I said, we were talking here and I said, that's no as near as bad as blue board. Blue board is way worse. Really? Oh yeah. Out with the worst fumes. Wow, I did not know that. Yeah. What was that? Connected? Blue board. Blue board is way worse than that. that worse than itself. the spray foam? Yeah. Wow. Since we tested the spray foam with this larger torch, we felt it was only fair to expose the croft panel to the same conditions. We gave it a full minute this time, and no one stopped us. But again, no matter how much heat we exposed the straw to, we were never able to get it to self ignite. The behavior remains the same. Straw forms a self-protective layer of char and won't really spread beyond the direct point of the torch. It's a reminder that, given the same conditions, organic compounds consistently remain at a lower temperature than synthetic materials. We managed to convince a few skeptical firefighters with this test, and we think it manages to convey one simple fact, that natural materials can be incorporated into safe, healthy, durable buildings, for now and into the future. <laughs>